We should protect our blood from PFAS. In 2015, the US government commissioned a study to measure the population's exposure to PFAS. The results were chilling. 97% of Americans had PFAS in their blood, a proportion that was later confirmed by many more studies around the globe. Doesn't it have health consequences to have polyfluoroalkyl substances in our blood? Spoiler, it does. A study by the Nordic Council of Ministers focused on only four of the about 5,000 PFAS to determine their health impact for, again, a chilling result. They calculated that those four substances alone were responsible for 110 euro per European inhabitant and per year in additional health costs. Now, the good news is that usually the water industry is pretty innovative when it comes to solving a riddle, such as how to remove PFAS from water. This is why, from coated membranes to supercritical water oxidation through reverse osmosis, many processes emerge to take on the challenge. So when do we take these technologies to the bigger scale and ultimately everyone? Because 